tickle, 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 tickle. Hello, I'm Mike Goldman. Coming up quicker than you can rock a fella in 30 minutes, it's I Love New York Night on Friday Night Live. We've got more action than the Mets, the Jets, the Yankees and the Knicks. But first, it's The Daily Show where the house is still reeling from the hunt for the mole. Don't let it tear you apart anymore. Don't let it tear you apart anymore. I think Bianca's just a nutcase sometimes. Tonight on Big Brother, Bianca's blow up. Will the house ever be the same again? I'm in a bit of a fruit mood. Would you say you're a bit of a fruit mood? Cherry has a message for all his female admirers. Cherry bit love. Cherry doesn't fall in love, man. <laughs> and Rory's Rima replica lands him in hot water. Big Brother feels the cutout of Rima is in bad taste. Throw it in the bin. The house is still recovering from yesterday's brawling over the mole that never was. It was Terry who tried to keep the peace. Terry? Yes, big brother. Would you say the dust has settled? Very much so, yes. Although I really couldn't understand why, you know, a couple of them got so distraught about it all. But um, they've gotten over it now and that's all that matters. If I, when I see Remo, there won't be any hard feelings as far as I'm concerned. She was put in to play a game like everybody else. So, and, you know, we all entered this game not knowing what to expect. So, and that's what I tried to say to Bianca yesterday before she got so distraught and started throwing things everywhere. Last night I was missing my dog so much. I'm just like, oh. Don't talk about it. Make me think about it. So you don't, don't you think though, if you talk about it, it will remind you? No. Of, no? You remind you, but you start crying and stuff. Mm. I'm spending my life in here crying. I was loving it. Well, I still love it, but I just miss my dog. But see, when things like what happened yesterday happened, doesn't that affect you at all? Well, it was one thing that happened in... Oh, yeah, it didn't affect me that much, but I don't like seeing people like Al affected that much. I think Bianca's just a nutcase sometimes, so then that doesn't affect me. It's after 10.30, but some still haven't stirred, so Big Brother decides to wake them up with the sound of dripping water. <laughs> I actually think that could actually drive you insane. Are people getting up, though? No. No. They're just sitting there. Just laying Is it there. still going off? Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. You're tired. Hey, look at your eyes. Your eyes are I'm red. I'm so tired. Swamp woman. Oh my is... god. Look at this. <laughs> and then I finally go out to sleep and Cherry's like, like what? <laughs> and then I'm like just going to think. I'm like, oh. <laughs> This week's wrestling task requires housemates to leap into action when they hear their music. They have only 90 seconds to get into costume and enter the ring. Do you need help? No, I'm good. Oh, yes, the drop's gone. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Just let me go to sleep. Stop it! I'm so tired, I can't sing double. Why are you so tired? Uh, because I didn't get any sleep. You don't have sleep for I didn't, I didn't even get sleep. <laughs> Stop. <sighs> get in your crack. <laughs> You're getting up. <laughs> this is your problem! That's a f***ing match, baby! It's bizarre, isn't it? When we 
had all these people in here, we were sort of scratching for food and now we're actually throwing food out. I'm going to have to throw that, that fruit salad out. It's been there for quite a while now. Well, I'm in a bit of a fruit mood. What'd you say? You're a bit of a fruit loop? No, I'm in a bit of a fruit mood. <laughs> I know what you said, I'll just do a bit of a fruit loop. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Didn't you say you told me your dad had a bad temper? Yeah. Yeah. So I told someone that this morning. They said, oh, sure. I said, I'm sure that's what she told me. He's got a temper. Yeah. But not the temper that, yeah, they'd ever do anything to us. Like if something like that would happen to you yesterday, happened to him, would he carry on like you? Not now, but not when he's younger, he would. Yeah. Have. yeah. yeah. Not now, he'd be like you, don't give him the satisfaction, it's not even worth it. That's why when I yeah, looked at the photos the yesterday of my yeah. mum and dad, yeah. I went, they would be telling me to just settle yeah. down. And dad would be going, ha ha, you're so much like me. But dad's, yeah, dad's different now, but he would have done that as a, as a kid. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take to dig through the world. <laughs> You'd be digging through lava and stuff. You couldn't do it. Really? You can actually dig to China, though. Oh, Travi. You can. No, like, you... you go through lava and stuff. Dude, you, dig... you could not dig to China. Oh, my God. I can't believe you just said that. Sorry, man. No? No. <laughs> oh, Travis. Oh, Travis. Oh, you <laughs> got Coming up, Cherry's take on romance. Cherry bit love. Cherry doesn't fall in love, man. <laughs> Cherry has kept up his flirting with Bridget, making the others curious about where it might end. Where's Bridget with my drink, the idiot? Huh? So where's Bridget with my drink, the idiot? <laughs> What you were talking about the other day, on your keycard. Yeah, you reminded me the other day, so... Yeah. I'm just like, oh, how cute. All the couples are up. Bridget likes someone on the outside, man, so we're not a couple. We're just making use of our time in here. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not the way I'd want to, but... <laughs> oh, wouldn't this I be might a might one of these today, actually. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe Benny should get in on this game. I know, Benny. What, on Bianca? Yeah, Not hard. No. Oh, oh, Ben's still working go. on his spooning position, let alone bloody kissing. Cherry and Bridgie snogged on in the combi. Oh, shut up. There's none of that at all, man. When she gets out of here, she'll be sweated by everyone. Cherry will be in love. Cherry doesn't fall in love, man. <laughs> when you, you find out when you're in the gold, you, you just can't, you don't get a chance to. <laughs> you just bam, bam, bam. You're going to be a young grandma. Everyone I told you where I work, everyone's a grandma except me. I was the last. Girl, wow. One of the girls I worked with was, was a, a grandmother before she was 40, I think. Before she was 40? Yep, because she had her first child at 16 and so did her daughter. I couldn't imagine having sex at 14. At 16, sorry. It's good. It's good. Ben has had it. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I got this. Were you 16, Ben? Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't be ready for it, Dan. I'm not ready for it now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How long do you reckon it'll be till you're ready? Well, when I find the right person, then I'll be like, I will get this. But up until then, I haven't found... What if you're 45 and you haven't found the right person, Trev? Then I will never get this. Let's see what it is. Every life, I'm 
stuck and so I'm like, muscles. No, no, no. Muscles. No, go away. Oh, that makes him big and do that again. <laughs> so, in my best interest to stop working out. Yeah. No. Just so I'd warn you. Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Better, good, yeah. but even start here. I know you hang up. Mm. You can hold it down there, mm. and then just let that one drop and push it down. Mm. Oh, did I curl it over again? Did I? No, I don't know what you did then. I think you brought it up first. Just try and let go of it. Oh, I curled it over. Ew! I'm so glad that I don't like eating healthy things. Bianca, I'm going to start taking interviews for new bed partners. Pretty sure you can't ditch me. Once you spoon, you can never go back. Leave a position open. You could always roll the other way and go for terror. Yeah. Bianca was rolling towards me last night as well. Yeah. Ben didn't show me no love. Well, a spoon with Trav. No, Trav's too skinny. It doesn't feel right. Bounce it there. So it's in front of you, but because you're bouncing it there, it's going to come back. What I should do back. is try and run. I'll run over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you whinging about the spooning, so I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> it makes me feel <laughs> So, don't worry, your reputation is saved. I'll definitely spoon with you on Saturday night. So it could be your Saturday? last night in the house. Could be my last night in the house, in the house too, Ben. Does that mean you're going to spoon with me on Rory, or...? I'm only Matt and Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I got cut at him today. No. I don't know if I care, but I'll do it on Saturday because, like, he likes an idea. And you shouldn't feel bad. And, like, to, like, I'm like, he's trying to cover it up, but I'm like, oh, make your mind up. <coughs> huh? Cute. I don't know. What? I just said I'm not going to spoon anymore. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to spoon Travi instead. Mm, that'll be like, you might as well take the broom to bed. I know. I really don't <laughs> want to. <coughs> So what I got out of this conversation was Bianca's taking a broom to bed. Yep, pretty much. Is the broom fed? She's ditching bed for the broom. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> After the break, Ben and Bianca have everybody talking. All of a sudden they're just like, no, they're openly in love. <laughs> Your head is in my boobs. Head is boobing. I'm drowning. <laughs> Have I missed where this whole lovers tiff Ben and Bianca created? Stay away from home. <laughs> All of a sudden they're just like, yeah, I know. Mm. I think it's sexual love. energy. Yeah, tension. Sexual tension. <laughs> They're openly in love. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. <coughs> My cardigan. No. Your love affair. Yours with cherry. No. Look at you two. You like all over each other. That's what you want. <laughs> When you got your boobs no, done, were you no, at home? Couldn't have a, I had to have half. Were you at home or were you living at Eric's house? Uh, I was like... Were you hiding from your dad? I was like kicked myself out of home. <laughs> oh, was this when you ran away? <laughs> yeah. yeah. My parents yeah. went overseas and I had a massive party at the house. And I cleaned up everything except I didn't realise people had climbed on the roof and then walked through some of the rooms with black footprints. Oh. And um, they came home and there was like... Black. Black <laughs> so I just picked up my stuff and ran out the door. And I, I didn't answer any phone calls. I had all these messages. Come home right now. We're calling the police because you stole the uh, car because we paid for it. So <laughs> and um, Eric had just moved into a new house and they didn't know where that was. So I just like went and stayed there for like a couple of like two months. And in that time I got new boobs. <laughs> And then I went home and Mum's like, did you get new boobs? I'm like, no. Okay. So <laughs> and my dad never found... I've had them for, like, almost two years now and my dad never found out. And they went from actually, like, nipples on my flat skin to, like, boobs like this. 
No, they were bigger than ours, but... <laughs> so mine aren't even nipples on a flat feet. No, no, yours has got at <laughs> all. You don't even have nipples, Al. Oh, that's terrible, Bridget. We got you, we got Rosa, we got Bridgels. We need Bianca. B and Ben could be awkwardly spooning. <laughs> to try to ease the boredom, housemates are making cardboard cutouts of everyone who's been in the house. This is so funny. I've had a real think about the outside world day. Not a miss, just think. Like, getting excited about stuff. You think about getting excited about stuff? No, today I had a real thinking about the outside world day. The outside world day? Like, the I had a thinking about the outside world yeah. day. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Like, not a happy day or something. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be scared to go outside. No, you won't, Bridget. I will. Why are you scared? I don't know because I haven't been like there in so long. <laughs> and I don't want to go home. Really? Go, once you get to my age, it's just like. If you don't have, like, if you're not married at home with your boyfriend, there's just nothing to do. And I don't want to be like that. <laughs> Let's eat him. Oh, I don't like it. Awkwardly spooning. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Look! Oh. Awkwardly spooning. <laughs> what shall, shall, shall we do for Rima? Oh, um. A mole. She's really had really good conversations with Rima, which that's why I'd like to just stay a couple more days and have more conversations. I agree. I got one. I love talking to her. Okay, Bridgie, yes. guess them. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, what do you reckon about Mo? That's good. <laughs> that's excellent. It's got a nice through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest one. That's excellent. That's so good. Next. Terry in tears. You know that some people haven't been the people that I thought that they were. Terry. Yes, big brother. After ten weeks in the house. Have some genuine friendships been formed? Most definitely. More than I could ever, ever have imagined, you know. Um, oh, God. Who are you closest to? Um, Alice and Travis, by far, and it really surprises me because... Um, You know, Travis is such a different, different person to what I am. And, and Alice is just an amazing person. And that's why, you know, if they had been the mole yesterday, I really would have been devastated because, you know, they wouldn't have been the people that I thought they were. And um, in my life, I've come that, across that a lot. You know, that um, people haven't been the people that I thought that they were. Did you not expect to make such strong bonds? No, I didn't, Big Brother. I just don't know why. It's ridiculous. <sighs> when, you, when you sit with people 24 hours a day and you tell them every detail of your life and they know everything about you, you know, I suppose you just can't help but get attached to, to people. Why well, don't you used to just snuggle up like you usually do? Because I told him that I wouldn't because it makes him feel awkward and it makes me feel like a dirty... But you've been wanting to spoon Ben for ages. I've been wanting to spoon like someone for ages. Ben is just taking it the wrong way and making me feel like a No, so I'm not taking it the wrong way. It's just how I feel. I like people who don't make me feel bad for spooning. Mm-hmm. You right, Tessa? Yeah, I was just talking about yesterday and all that stuff. I just... Upset, that's all. It's okay to be sad. No, I know, but I just can't help it. I feel like it's stupid. Don't feel like a dickhead. Yeah, don't feel like an idiot. 
I Honestly. cried over a mole task. I know. <laughs> Bit of stress. Lots yesterday. of stress. Yeah. Lots of stress. I think it bloody hell, I look like a freak. I've just taken makeup off, bloody blubber in my eyes. Don't worry, Terry, we all look like freaks. I don't hate it. Well, that's how it sounds, and I don't want to do that to somebody who is making me feel like I don't know. No, I'm not making you feel like shit. I'm just saying I don't do it with female friends. I don't think I've done anything wrong. Do you think I've done something wrong? No. I'd like to learn how to park on a ride on lawnmower. I don't want you to be pissed off at me. Which was bad. I'm not pissed off. Rory's been called to the diary room over his cardboard replica of Rima. Rory, last night you and your housemates made some cardboard cutouts. Correct. You made a figure which represented Rima as yes. a mole True. with a knife in its back. <laughs> yes. How do you think Rima would feel about it? Um, I, knowing Rima as I thought I did, um, I'd think she'd think it was just a bit of a joke. Big Brother feels the cutout of Rima is in bad taste and is offensive. Okay. When you leave the diary room, yep. you are to remove it from the wall and throw it in the bin. That is all. <laughs> no worries, big brother. You won that one. <laughs> Rima has been taken off the wall because it's found offensive towards Rima, which is bull. Um, the mole is to be stricken. And I go, well, as soon as I throw this mole out, I'm going to make another one. He goes, do you think the mole re best represents Rima? I said, yes. And then he said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> not allowed to have it, not allowed to have nothing up there, so Rima is represented. What are we for Rima? Yeah. No, just chuck it out. So we, just we, can't, no. we can't think of anything else, can we? Rima is represented as nothing. Can't That's we? Crap. we Rima's not even a housemate. She was never in the house. Like, Rima's nothing. See you later, Rima. So we can't make another one of anything else? No, that's it, done. Stay tuned for Friday Night Live's I Love New York Night, coming up next. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 555 and then for Rory, add 66. For Terry, add 67. For Travis, add 68. For Bianca, add 64. Or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 6th of July. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile.